Oh, we are going through Tucker? Come in. I don't remember this. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel Hughes. Hey guys, it's been a while. It sure has. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in Central? You think this doting daddy would willingly come all this way for anything other than a mission? You got that right. Oh, I miss my little girl already. So, what's the summons for? I assume it's related to the mission that the Lieutenant Colonel's here for. Actually, I ordered you boys here for a different reason. But I do have something that I want to ask you guys. Let me go first. <laughs> here he comes. Have you two heard of a guy named Scar? Oh, okay. I thought it was going to <laughs> ask about his his daughter. Scar? No, can't say that I have. He's a suspected serial killer who only targets state alchemists. We know nothing of his background or motives. The only information we have is that he has a big scar on his forehead. Hence the name Scar, of course. There have recently been several witness accounts here in East City of a man who looks like Scar. And I'm the one in charge of the case. That's why I dragged myself all the way out here. Well, the witness accounts aren't all that reliable. There must be hundreds of men with a scar on their forehead. So what you're saying is that a bunch of rumors are sparking a wild goose chase. Ah, don't say that. We could be dealing with the real thing. There just aren't enough leads. For now, we just have to look into every witness account we get. And Edward, since you're a state alchemist too, you have every reason to be targeted by Scar. So watch your back, okay? If you ever feel like you're in danger, let me or Roy know immediately. Whatever. Whatever. So, on to the main topic of the day. It's not just Scar who's causing a stir in the East. There are others. You mean those terrorists? Sure, they're not very pleasant, but didn't we get them all? No, no. Small fries like that are none of my concern. He's talking about the vanishings here in the East. Everybody's talking about it, even the people in Central. Vanishings? There has been a rash of inexplicable cases from all parts of the East where people just suddenly vanish. One village apparently lost its entire population. Overnight, I might add. Investigations are turning up nothing. Locals have started to complain. They're scared out of their minds. Now we're getting rumors like people are getting sucked into the ground or the monsters did it. It's ludicrous. Monsters. Since you boys are on the road, I was hoping you might have caught wind of something. Hence the summons. So, any of this ringing any bells? Well, there was that one incident in Lior. Yeah, we were attacked by monsters when we were in Lior. Monsters, you say? We're serious! Inside this guy named Cornello's temple. We actually thought Cornello might have created those monsters himself. Cornello, in Lior. Isn't he the so-called prophet of Leto? Nah, he was a faker. He was just using the Philosopher's Stone to perform miracles and hoodwink the town. You mean to tell me that this prophet had the Philosopher's Stone in his possession? Well, it turned out the stone was fake. I mean, it had some powers, but it cracked and fell apart. A fake Philosopher's Stone, eh? It was probably what we refer to as the Crimson Stone. Yep. Yeah, I saw those reports too. It's apparently going around as an amplifier for transmutations. Going around? You mean there's more than one of those fake stones? But a fake is a fake, and it's dangerously unstable. It frequently creates a rebound back onto the person who's transmuting. 
Somebody must be making them, but whether it's an individual or a group, we still have no idea. Wow. Even if we get our hands on one, we shouldn't use anything that dangerous. Good point. But if these monsters really exist, maybe we should conduct an investigation on this Cornello guy. He's still in Lior, right? No, he was killed. He was sucked into the ground right in front of our eyes. Full Metal, you're not regurgitating the rumors I just told you, are you? There's a strange woman nearby, and we assumed it was her doing, but we don't know anything for sure. And then as soon as Cornella was gone, the woman melted away into the ground as well. Melted away, huh? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me, Colonel. What do you make of this ring? What's this? I just told you, it's a ring! I'm sorry, but I can't accept a gift like this from another man. <laughs> fuck. Uh, it's not a gift, you moron! Oh, so you're giving it to a girl? <laughs> you're blossoming early, shrimp. That ain't it either, and don't call me a shrimp! <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a normal, old ring to me. Is there something special about it? Yeah, well, no. If you've never seen it before, then it's nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> hmm, something's fishy here, and it ain't cod. <gasps> Wait a minute! You're not planning on wooing my daughter from an early age, are you? What the fuck? Excuse me? Roy, let's grill this shrimp. I'll get the skewers. <laughs> and I'll provide the flames. How could you, Ed? Trying to win her favor from the age of two. You start early, don't you? Jesus Christ, this... This can't... This can't cut it. No, that's impossible. I, I, I refuse to accept this is true. Well, all jokes aside, I think we were right to call you boys in. Yeah, now we know for sure that these monsters exist. That ought to help our investigations. Well then, I guess you owe me one big time, Colonel. Uh, the thought of having to owe you one gives me the creeps. What is it you want? That's my Colonel. Do you know of any alchemists around town who specialize in biological transmutation? Biological transmutation. There is a specialist on chimera synthesis who lives in the city. Shao Tucker. Ah. Uh, this name. He successfully synthesized a talking chimera two years ago. He was certified and dubbed the Sewing Life Alchemist. A talking chimera? You mean he made a chimera that talks like a person? So it seems. I wasn't in charge then. So I haven't seen it myself. Why don't you pay Xiao a visit? Xiao, goddamn Tucker. That motherfucker. Here we are. This must be Mr. Tucker's house. It's awfully quiet. Is anybody even here? By the way, it's been 10 minutes already and I haven't played a game. Hello? Miss no response. Maybe everybody's out. Oh, come on. We came all this way and nobody's home? Wait, but the door's unlocked. Huh? Ed, you can't just barge into someone's house unannounced. Mr. Tucker, anybody home? Hello? There's a chest there. There is one. Hmm. Huh. Still no answer. Yeah, 
They're all probably out. But then why would the door be unlocked? Something doesn't feel right, Al. Let's have a look around inside. What? Ed? We're coming in! Oh, brother. I mean, I'm with Ed, honestly. Unlock the door. Serial killer out, looking for... State alchemist. Who knows? What do we have here? There really is no one here. But I don't see anything unusual. They probably just forgot to lock the door before leaving the house. No. Wait, Al. What's that over there? Huh? Burr. Ed, I... I don't think that's paint. It's blood, all right. What could have happened here? Look at this. These glasses. Are they Mr. Tucker's? The amount of blood on the floor here. Nobody could lose this much and still... So in this time light, Ed. Um, all right. I think this house has a basement. Maybe. Let's snoop around and see what we can find. <laughs> Synthesizing chimeras with verbal skills too. Collected and used birds with talking skills. Unsuccessful all. Failure might be due to the low intelligence of the subjects. Finitized camera, server skills one. Use the dog that understood human speech. Unsuccessful. More understanding seems not to be enough. Perhaps animals with the ability to approximate human speech are required. Over 30 experiments with monkeys have failed. Perhaps my skills are in question, rather than the abilities of the test subjects. Heard rumors of the Crimson Stone, which supposedly amplifies the transmutation's powers. How might I how might I procure one? Dogs on the Crimson Stone. Apparently this, cris Apparently this crimson stone is also referred as the elixir. A man named Cornello has supplied me with information on how to obtain the stone. It came at the cost of one of my chimeras, a valuable sample, but I had no choice. Attempted a simple transmutation using the stone. Results far exceeded expectations. It powers the fight outcome on sense and alchemy. Okay, so... The Chimera is from Tucker. Just as in the field of medicine, sacrifice is necessary at times. Mankind must not fear the progress. A faithful, as faithful as she is to, as faithful as she was to me, she must also have wished nothing less. Use the elixir successfully in synthesizing a Chimera with verbal skills. Man, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. 
So goddamn creepy. Took her. Synthetizing chimeras are risk plus five. Receive the silver watch, emblem of the state certification, and the allies sealing life alchemist. Received the word this morning that the chimera used for the exam has died. Bro. Can I see any other clue? I don't think so. Just the blood. Let's keep on. should report to the colonel before we go any further. I'm getting a real bad feeling about this. We've already come this far. We can look around a little bit more by ourselves. But we shouldn't be poking around like this. What are you looking at? It's a picture. Probably of Mr. Tucker. Is that his daughter in the picture? If it is, and if this blood is hers... Uh. Hey, Al, look at this over here. Hmm. Is that a diary? Yeah, looks like it's Mr. Tucker's. Let's see. Oh, man, it's nothing but squiggles all over. I can hardly read any of it. Well, you'd expect that from a doctor. Let's see if I can manage to decipher any of this chicken scratch. Annual assessment tomorrow. At this rate, they will strip me out of my cert, cert, out of my cert. No, no, can't let that happen. Headache, no progress at work. Damn dog barks too loud. Shut up. God, my head hurts. Stupid dog. Bot. Bought more lab animals. Five dogs, five monkeys, five birds. They're cute, says my girl. Screwed up, pissed off, burn them all. Gotta burn them off, cremate. Gotta burn them off, cremate them. Shut up, stop screaming, you deaf. Defect. You can do it, daddy. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I am at the end of the line here, Nina. My wife couldn't understand, but this child would. Let's play, let's play. Second chimera successful. This, this is some disturbing stuff. Not the product of a healthy mind. It's the diary of a madman. None of the other pages are even legible. It makes me ill just looking at the handwriting. Hey, look, something fell out of the diary. Huh? What's this? That looks familiar. Wait, that's the Crimson Stone. Or broken pieces of it, at least. No way. Mr. Tucker had the same fake Philosopher's Stone as Cornello? Remember what Lieutenant Colonel Hughes told us? There's a lot of these Crimson Stones going around. What could you have been doing with this, Mr. Tucker? Mr. Tucker. All right, so yeah. Tucker screwed up. Oh, dog collar. Is this an item we can equip? What the fuck? No, please. It is. And it's for Al. Large dog collar engraved to the name Alexander. Increased vitality and attack. Messed up, man.
There they are. Gee, 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 gee. They're all dancing. This must be where he kept the chimeras he synthesized. The cage is broken. Did the chimeras break out themselves? Or... Chat time's over, Al. Looks like these chimeras are hungry. And we're on the plate. Let's go, then. Fuck this. Bounce. Bounce, my balls. Bounce. They're bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I like that. Bounce, balls, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Tucker could have been attacked by one of his own chimeras? Not very likely. Look at that. A chimera couldn't do this. Whoever made this hole was probably the one who got Mr. Tucker. Looks like it leads to the sewers. All right. Ready, Al? My god, the sewers Hello? again. Ready for what? Oh no, not the sewers again. Don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Hurry up! Oh, we go into the sewers once again. Fuck. To the sewers we go. Meanwhile, at East headquarters. You know, Hughes, I would really like to return to work now. Next up is this. Ta-da! This is from when we were at the beach. My wife and daughter are so cute. Don't you have to get back to work? Ah, oh, maybe I should have made Full Metal stick around for this gut-churning display. Colonel, we've got a problem. Colonel. Havoc, what excellent timing. How would you <laughs> like to sit in my chair and listen to Hughes talk about his... No time for jokes, sir. Brigadier General Bosgron was killed during his inspection visit. Brigadier Gron? You've got to be kidding. He's not only a state alchemist, he's also an expert on military combat. It was Scar, sir. Scar? So he really is here. With the Brigadier General gone, the only state alchemist in town are... Oh no, Roy! Deploy emergency troops throughout the city. Get as many men as you can. Follow me to the Tucker residence. Yes, sir. Yeah. The boys have been gone for some time now. I hope they don't run into each other. I will not allow you to die within my jurisdiction, Full Metal. Sorry, su su su. Ugh. Do all sewers have to reek this unfathomably bad? Ew, and I just cleaned off all the crud from the last time, too. I want you to know, I hate this, Ed. There seems to be something about us in the sewers, all right. Hmm? Were those footsteps? Someone's nearby. Who could it be? Come on, Al. Hey! 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 Al! 
can grab it out. I'm gonna grab the other one. There we go. Oh, there's a chest there. They won't stop spawning? What the hell? How many of them are? White little coin Loincloth forces out to stand still. Something no good boy can be without. <laughs> Let's move on. Hey Al, there's a ladder here. Maybe the source of the footsteps climbed up and went outside. Could be. Come on, let's go. Before the stink down here makes me vomit. Oh, 
Okay, the good news is we're out of the sewer. The bad news is there's nobody here. Want a break for lunch? I'm telling you, we should go back to headquarters. We have to let the Colonel know about Mr. Tucker. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, we don't have much of a choice now. Oh, there you are. Mr. Elric. Mr. Edward Elric! Elric. Edward Elric. Oh, thank God you're all right. We've been looking all over for you. Huh? What do you want with me? My orders are to return you to headquarters at once. The serial killer has been... Edward Elric. Full Metal Alchemist. What? Oh, haven't you seen him there? Uh, that scar on the forehead. Wait, no! Mm. No. of this society then there must also be destroyers so we have no choice huh you asked for it <laughs> look at this your mouth is admirable all right scar This is where it ends! <gasps> Ow! You bastard! Hmm. So you create a circle by joining your hands together and transmute via the power that circulates within. In that case, I shall first destroy your right hand! your time I stopped believing in him is it only me you're after or are you going to kill my brother Al too I will eliminate anyone who interferes but for now full metal alchemist you're the only one I want fine then promise me that you won't lay a finger on my brother I shall keep that promise your mind? What are you doing? Get out of here! Just get up and run, damn it! Thou shalt perish, full metal alchemist! No! Please, don't do it! No! 
The dub, man. Hold it right there. <laughs> that was too close, Edward. Lieutenant, who is this? He's a suspect in the state alchemist serial killings, but now it's obvious he's the perpetrator. I come as an agent of God to carry out his judgments. If you must interfere, you shall be eliminated as well. Interesting. In that case, I shall take you on. Stay back, Colonel. Don't you remember? You're useless in the rain. <laughs> Us useless. Unforgivable enemy of the state! If you must annihilate state alchemists, then come and defeat me first! For my name is Alex Luis Armstrong, the strong-armed alchemist. There you are. The odds are against me if I take on so many at once. Hold it. You're completely surrounded. Do you really think you can escape us? <laughs> Whoa. He transmuted a hole in the ground. The classic sewer escape. Nice comment, bro. Alphonse! Al, are you alright? You, you stupid big brother! Why didn't you get up and run when I told you to, you idiot? But, but I couldn't run away unless you were with me. So you decided to die instead? That's really smart. <sighs> We're falling apart, aren't we? We must look pathetic. But we're alive. Yeah, we're alive. I feel like I... <laughs> Alright. That's a heavy narrative focus game, so... I'll forgive it, I guess. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Are you guys alright? We were worried about you. I'm just glad you're still alive. Well, we're alive, but we're far from all right. Colonel, we went to Mr. Tucker's house and... I know. Hughes already looked into it. Mr. Tucker was murdered, most definitely by Scar. That's what I thought. What a mess. Three dead in a single day. An MP, Tucker, and Tucker's little girl. So Mr. Tucker did have a daughter. We saw a picture of her. That's right. And the daughter, before she was killed by Scar, seems to have been... Hughes. Oh, right. Forget I said anything. This doesn't concern you guys. Quite the hassle we have on our hands. But he won't have his way for long, now that he's in my jurisdiction. Let there be no doubt. The next time we see him, we'll crush him. Well, that's enough of that. So, Ed, uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Well, I wanna fix Al's body, but I can't use alchemy with my arm busted up like this. Would you like for me to fix you up? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows how to attach Al's soul to his armor, so I'm gonna have to get my arm fixed first. 
Good point. If Edward can't use alchemy, he's just... A foul-mouthed brat. A cocky little shrimp. Useless. Positively useless. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. You're on your own. What are you guys picking on me for? Uh, what's the use? Time to go see my mechanic. Hmm. Then I shall be your bodyguard on your way to the mechanic's shop. Huh? Are you kidding me? I don't need a bodyguard. Yes, you do. You don't know when Scar might appear again. Besides, you can't carry Alphonse by yourself. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be the Major. <laughs> I've got mounds of work to do, so I have to return to Central Pronto. There's no way I can leave East Headquarters. And I couldn't protect you from a guy like Scar. <laughs> Then it's set. No, it isn't. It is. If you're still going to throw tantrums, I can court-martial you for disobeying orders. How would you like that? You make me so mad. Well then, we should start packing. You should get ready too, Edward Elric. Don't forget your blankie now. Stop treating me like a baby! Don't forget your blankie. Alright, that's a lot. I feel like I watched like three episodes in a row. 